Hello everybody, Bonnie 22 in my reaction test review of The Mandalorian. This is going to be season, the finale, and I'm actually doing something a little bit different with this. I decided <clears throat> that I'm going to record, uh, before I actually watch the episode, what I want to see and what to expect from the episodes that I watch. And, and if you want to skip to the point where I've seen the episode and talk about that, There'll be a little timestamp right here where you can go and watch that. Um, anyway, what to expect from this episode? Um, well, the obvious thing is for them to get Grogu back. I actually do hope that they get him back, and I expect that they will. I'm not exactly sure, like, how they're going to accomplish that. Um, what else I'm probably expecting to see is some more dog troopers, um, some more Moff Gideon, <clears throat> and maybe even some more Boba Fett action, because he's still helping them out. And, yeah, just overall, just expecting a lot of stuff from this. Like, everything, pretty much. You know, getting, getting Grogu back, some more action, maybe. There may even be a fight scene between um, Mando and Moff Gideon. Which actually be kind of awesome to see. <clears throat> um, what else do I want to expect from this episode? Uh, let's see. We might actually see. We might actually see what their plan is, like, like their cloning plan. To see what like they want to do with, you know, Grogu. Like, are they trying to make like another Jedi? Are they gonna try like? Infusing themselves with Jedi powers. I know, I think I remember seeing a video about that where people discuss if that's a possibility. I never actually watched those videos though, but I've seen the title of like, and stuff like that. So that would actually be quite interesting if they actually go through with that. Um, um, yeah, so that's pretty much it for what I'm expecting from this episode. Now, there will be a timestamp right here. So, um, yeah, I'm going to go and watch the, go and go and react to the episode and expect to see my reaction test review now. All right. I'm back have, after having just watched the Mandalorian finale and oh my God. So much stuff happened, especially in the last minutes of the episode, holy crap! Like, oh my god. Gee, I'm like, I'm just completely dumbfounded, dumbfounded about that, like, it's so unexpected, so I'll talk about that in a minute. Um, I like how the episode basically started off with them fighting and getting the scientist, actually. They were going after the scientist. And with the scientist help, they actually come up with a plan on how to get um, Grogu back. And the one thing they have to worry about is the dark troopers, the robots. And as you can imagine, you know, the plan, take the brig, and, um, what's her name? Oh, yeah. Some characters also return, too, like, um, that female Mandalorian. I do not remember her name. I really gotta, it's been a while. But, um, she joined the group, along with Boba. And, yeah. Like, it's basically just a full group now, and... They're going to go, all go to the brig. Well, Boba's not. He's going to go away. Because it's causing a distraction just for them to get in. But they're going to go to the brig to find um, Moff Gideon so she can get the Darksaber. And use it to reclaim Mandalore. And um, Mando's going to get the child back. He's going to get Grogu back. Um, And as you can imagine, things don't exactly go according to plan, because for one, Mando doesn't make it to the dark troopers in time to close the door, so they 
So one of them got out, and the other ones are just breaking the glass. Luckily, it was just one, so he was able to take care of it using his spear. And the other ones, he blasted off into space, but they weren't dead. They do come back later on, and I'll talk about that later. Um, and he makes his way to the to the brig where they're keeping um, Grogu. And at the same time, the others are trying to take over the brig so they can get to Moff Gideon and get the Darksaber. But he's not there, because he's with the baby. He's with Grogu in the, in the brig. And Mando does not want the Darksaber. He just wants the baby back. Moff Gideon basically says, here, you can have him. Which, by the way, was a very, like, misdirection, because it's pretty obvious that he would betray him. He just wouldn't let him get away with it that easily. Um, and after that, he basically fights him using the Darksaber, and Mando wins the fight and brings Moff Gideon to the brig with along with everyone else. And... That's when Bo Katan, I think that's her name. I'm not exactly sure. She basically says, What happened, you know? Because the thing about the Darksaber, and I don't know if this has anything to do with how it operates, if it's just like a, um, it's just a matter of like perception over it. But because Mando defeated, um, Moff Gideon, he has control over the Darksaber. Like, complete control over the Darksaber now. And he was, like, trying to give it to her, but she wouldn't take it. So that would be quite interesting to see. And this is actually when the Dark Troopers actually return and start making their way down the hallway towards them at the brig. And they start, like, breaking the door down. Everyone's thinking, okay, we're dead. And they see one X-Wing show up. <laughs> and, like, all the robots stop. And guess who it is? It's a Jedi. You know, everyone's surprised to see a Jedi. And Moff Gideon looks a little scared. And... The Jedi, like, makes his way through the dark troopers, makes his way up the elevator, and makes his way to the brig. And, oh my god, I can barely say it. It is Luke Skywalker. Yeah. Oh my god! Like, I was just completely speechless at that point. I was like, what? You know, it... And I'm still shocked by it. Now, it looks like they did some de-aging, and it looks a little weird at points, but it's fine. I feel like it's fine, but... That, that like just completely caught me off guard. I kind of suspected something was up when I saw the green lightsaber and also the glove on his hand where he got his hand cut off. Oh. And basically, as you can expect, you know, it worked from a few episodes back. Grogu managed to contact a Jedi. And now he wants to go. But he doesn't go at first because he needs... He wants um, Mando's permission. And Mando takes off his helmet and just looks right at him. And tells him, you know, basically to go. And, you know, Luke takes him. Luke takes the baby. 
And yeah, it's a very sad goodbye. And the episode basically ended there. Basically ended. There is something else I do want to talk about very quick, but I do want to talk about this a little bit more. Now, Luke has the baby now, which makes me wonder, because, you know, that was his mission, to get the baby where he belongs. You know, with his own kind, I thought they meant his species, but I guess another Jedi will work. And I'm just wondering if this is the end of the show now. Because he completed his mission. I hope there's more going forward. But I'm not sure. I'm not exactly sure. You know, it makes me sad because if this is actually the finale or the last episode and we don't see the baby anymore, it's going to be quite sad indeed. But anyway, um, something I do want to quickly talk about is there is actually a post credit scene that I saw. Um, it actually has the, it's actually, um, Boba Fett and I, I always forget her name following along. And they basically go to Jabba's palace where that one guy from episode six, you know, Jabba's servant, you know, Jedi mind trick. He was, he had basically taken over. And Boba kills him, and Boba's in charge of Java's palace now. And something about um, the Book of Boba Fett or something like that, <clears throat> which makes me wonder, is that going to be a TV show? Like, is that going to be a new show? Because it said 2021, so it makes me wonder if that's going to be a TV show. Anyway, I do think that's going to be pretty much it for this um, reaction slash review. I did talk quite a bit about the episode, but um, overall, I did enjoy the episode. It was quite good. Had a bunch of unexpected moments, like, you know, Luke Skywalker and the baby going with him. And I hope that there's going to be some more Mandalorian, you know? So, yeah. Just let me know what y'all think. And I guess I'll see y'all next time. Hopefully. Bye.